We picked up this bench for $20 and lucky us, our horse grain sack stencils just came in. So we're gonna take the new JRV stencil, some old school paint, some grain sack fabric and give this a whole new look. We're gonna get this started. It's gonna take maybe about an hour, not including dry time, start to finish for this project. The base is gonna go DIYs old school, probably some white wax, and then we'll be ready to stencil the top. For the paint products you see us use today, visit jamierayvintage.com. DIY paint is a great multi-purpose paint. We're gonna be using this on the bottom. We've got the new stencil. This is the 1906 horse stencil. And it's gonna be hard to see on camera because it's clear, right? But one of the things that makes our stencils so awesome is they're really thick. They're industrial grade. They last a long time for, I don't wanna put a number on it, but I haven't worn one out yet. Lots and lots and lots of uses. We're so excited to introduce you guys to the DIY Cottage Color. It's in collaboration with us, Jamie Ray Vintage. It has a built-in top coat and it's much thinner than traditional DIY paint because it's self-leveling. Once you paint, it's got the sealer in there and you're all done. But just like every other DIY product, Product. It has no VOC, it's handcrafted in the USA, and it's all natural. We're using gray skies in cottage color, and I'm just gonna offload my brush. This is an all-in-one paint, it's new. You can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com, and a little moist on the brush. You, want, you don't want it to be completely dry when you're doing fabric. And I'm just gonna pull that off and show you how that sucks that up, but nice crisp lines because of the thick stencil. Also helps with a good stencil brush. We sell these too. You don't have to whisper. Pick up these stencil brushes in cottage colors at jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> you could also tape that in place. Because the cottage color is an all-in-one and has a built-in sealer, we don't have to do anything else to this. We don't need to heat seal, we don't have to wax the fabric and let that cure up. Once this dries, it'll be good to go and totally usable. With any stenciled or painted fabric, you want to be careful when you're washing it. You don't want to go crazy on the scrubbing, but it should hold up really well. Oh, look how crisp that is. That's good. I'm using DIY white wax to seal the bottom, and this is gonna give it a really great oxidized gray finish. I'm not gonna wait for this wax to dry all the way to pull it back because I don't want it to not come off at all, so just keep that in mind. If it gets too white for you, you can always come back with clear wax and pull it back a little. The nice thing about this paint and the wax is that it really is like one coat plus a little bit of touch up and one coat of wax and you can get a restoration hardware Gustavian style finish without layers and layers of paint and lots of work. All right, now we're onto the fun part, removing the fabric and staples. And this fabric is just stringing out and the staples, there's about 3,000 of them it feels like in this little bench top, but we'll get it, we'll get it out. Once this is off, it's easy to reupholster it. bunch of excess fabric which is okay we'll cut it off and use it for the ruffle trim we had to make sure that the lines were evenly spaced and I couldn't do it the way that it was so I just had to like move it down and I will not be wasting any of it don't worry I'm gonna be using my Milwaukee staple gun you could also just use a handheld staple gun make sure when you are stapling that you hold the fabric taut but don't pull it so tight that it puckers the fabric especially with stripes because stripes are notorious for puckering and pulling in weird places I will come back and add more staples, but I always like to get it on there first and make sure it's right before I put in too many. I decided to just do two neat pleats on the side because this is so thick. Sometimes if you pull it too hard, then you get weird puckers and I'm just gonna go with it. I think it'll be okay once I flip. Let's let's see the grand flip reveal. Those stripes are mostly straight. 
Are they mostly straight? Yeah, that's good. Can you see me? I feel like I have a floating head here, but we didn't know how to get us and the bench, so this is what you get. <laughs> um, the bench actually turned out pretty amazing. It is a pretty simple finish, and stenciling was really fast with the cottage colors. Yeah, it didn't take any time. It dried quickly. It dries a little bit darker than it when, than when it's going on, but I like that. It's got like a good gunmetal gray on this gray skies color. It pairs really well with the old school and the white wax. If you're wanting to pick up the paint, the wax, the brushes, or the grain sack fabric, we will drop a detailed list below of all the products that we used that you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to share it out. Give us a thumbs up. Let me get my thumbs above the bench. <laughs> And subscribe to JBRA Vintage for more DIY.